Have you ever been told that you need to get a uretinal stent placed or one removed? Well, if that's the case, by the end of this video, I will be going over in detail the procedure and the removal so you know exactly how it feels. If you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the best kidney related advice when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. I recently had a kidney transplant a few months ago and I had to have the procedure and the removal done. And trust me guys, I was the one that was nervous and panicking about this whole procedure. So I'm gonna go over the procedure with you. I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly the process that has happened um, since I do have another video that actually gave you the vlog of the whole day. But I wanna go over right now with you exactly what happened. Before we go ahead and talk about the procedure of the uretinal stent, let's talk about what the stent is. It's a plastic tube that is inserted into your areta after you get your kidney transplant, which is a tube that connects your bladder and your kidney. They wanna make sure that your new kidney is functioning properly. They're doing this to make sure that the connection is strong. Remember, we just got this kidney transplant, so they just wanna make sure that everything is going well. And it takes about five weeks. So you're gonna have this inside of you for about five weeks, and then you will schedule an appointment to get the removal done. I get a lot of questions from many people asking me, how does it feel? Well, I got mine placed in because I had a kidney transplant, like we all know. But to be honest with you guys, I was already knocked out when they put it in. And I did not feel anything. So when I came out of the procedure, you could feel it was a little bit discomfort down there, but I was peeing so much that I didn't even have time to think about it. Honestly, you don't really feel it once they put it inside of you. So you don't have to worry about, are you gonna be in pain? Yes, some people have complications, um, but it's not the norm. But you're always gonna have that one person that may not agree with me. But I didn't feel anything because I was already knocked out for my kidney transplant once they placed that inside of me. It's so important that I talk about this with you guys. You guys know you guys are like my family, but because you don't really understand. You know, we're going through the kidney transplant process already and there's so much information being thrown at us on a constant basis. So when they first told me, hey, you need to get a stent, you know, this, that, and the other, I said, okay, I had no clue what I was in for. I didn't feel like the doctors actually explained correctly or enough to make me feel calm about the whole procedure. When they told me about it, I just said, okay, but, Again, I was knocked out so I didn't feel anything. But when it came down to the removal process, I was completely panicking every moment. I was all over YouTube, just like you guys are, searching to figure out, you know, are people in pain? What does this feel like? You know, how long this procedure is? And I just think it's so important to know these things. And I wish that my doctors or my transplant team would have sat down and explained in detail what I was going to be going through. So let's jump into the removal process. Since I already told you guys, you know, the placement you're not really going to know about because you're already going to be knocked out and under some heavy narcotics. Let's talk about the removal. So when I get to the hospital, they make you go over all of these trainings, sit there, you're gonna be watching tons of videos, you know, just letting you know what the process is, a bunch of jabba, jabba, jabba. Okay, then you're gonna be taking like your blood pressure to make sure everything is going well. Um, you're not being knocked out for this procedure, so let me go ahead and answer that question up front. They're not knocking you out, you're going to be wide awake for this. I felt like because I wasn't educated, I'm like, hey, can you guys knock me out? They're like, no, it's not even that long. And so you guys know this procedure takes about two minutes, literally two minutes. Now, mine's only took two minutes because I wanted to record mine so you guys can see the whole process. But literally it took him about 60 seconds to get in and pull out. So I know that sounds kind of funny, right? So what happens is when you get inside of the room, the lady's gonna give you um, a tablet to take. I can't remember exactly if it was Tylenol, if it was something a little bit stronger, but she gives you a little tablet to take. And 
Then you give you a cup of water, ask you to drink down the water. They give you a gown, as you can see in my video, they ask you to change so you can get comfortable. You will lay on this table. The doctor will come in at that time. There's going to be a whole setup next to him. He's gonna have, you know, the tube and he's gonna insert this tube, but there's like a little light at the end of this tube so he can see where he's going. Also, he had a big screen TV on the wall. So you're able to watch this process. And you guys saw in my previous video, it was very detailed. And I'm gonna show you guys in this video as well, where he actually shows the inside of what's going on as he's going in to pull out your stent. You guys, I want you to take a second and comment below and let me know, are you nervous about this procedure? So how exactly are they going to remove the stent, you ask? Well, he's going to lay you flat on your back. They're actually gonna put some numbing cream on that area, um, just so you don't feel it as much. And I know that there are people said that, you know, it did hurt for them. I had no pain, guys. I honestly, it was so quick. I didn't even feel it much. You felt a little discomfort because he's gonna take this long tube, like I explained with the light on it, and he's gonna go inside. He's gonna have a little, it's gonna have like a little clamps there. So he's gonna go ahead, he's gonna clamp on, to the stent and as soon as he finds the stent because that's why he has the camera and he has so he could see exactly where he's at so as soon as he locates the stent he's going to grab it with the machine because he's operating you know through that long tube he's going to grab hold of that and then he's going to pull out and you may say, oh my God, does it hurt when he like rips that out of you? No, it just flies right out. There's no pain involved in it. At least for me, it wasn't. Now, females, that's a female side. As a male, I heard um, there is some discomfort. I heard that a few times from some guys. I don't know, some men said that it was okay, but I can't even imagine going down that little hole and pulling that out. That sounds painful, um, but I'm not a guy. So I'm sorry, fellas, I really can't give you 100%, you know, is it gonna hurt, is it not gonna hurt? I would suggest maybe asking another male. Um, there's other guys on YouTube that have done videos you can research, but for females, it's not too bad, ladies, it's not too bad. I feel like having the screen there while the doctor's actually doing the procedure makes it a little bit easier because you're distracted. You're watching him, you're excited, you know, you're a little nervous, but you're excited just to see him going in and pulling it out. So while you're watching him, you're not really focused on, hey, there's actually a tube going in me and something coming out because you're so fascinated by what you're seeing. So I'm glad that you know they have that set up where you're able to watch along with the doctor and you know some places even allow you to record that process as well. So he pulled it out of me and he placed it on the table. I was surprised by the length of it. I mean, I know it goes all the way in your bladder, but it was pretty long and it was flexible so I can understand that you can sit, you can move. Um, I was really intrigued by how it looked and this was inside of me for that long guys so he laid it on the table for me so I can you know play with it touch it see what it felt like um, it's just like a plastic tube it really was it's a plastic tube that was inside of us that was flexible enough that we can you know sleep get up shower do everything that we need to do um, without feeling this inside of us we all have to do this procedure if we're getting a new kidney. And I just thought it was really important that you guys understand the process, um, to understand the removal, if it hurt, if it doesn't, what it looks like, you know, what the room looks like, just understanding, you know, what the tools that the doctors are using, because they don't really explain this the beforehand. You just get to the hospital and then you're figuring out what. So that's why I like to bring you guys along on this journey so you can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes before you even get to that point. No, you have no choice because it's needed. It's required when getting a kidney transplant. So you can't say, hey, I don't want this. You have to do it regardless. It's just part of the steps that we have to go through to get that good working kidney. So now that you know exactly what's all entailed in the procedure, if you guys wanna follow my journey and see the behind the scenes, find me on Instagram at Chrissy Mack. 
That's where I do a lot of my interactions. I love to get to know you on a personal level and that's the best place to find me. So you can watch my stories, you can see what's going on on a daily basis. It just keeps you up to date of what's actually going on in my life. And I wanna see what's going on in your life and see how your kidney transplant is doing. So tag me, let me know exactly how this procedure was for you. I will leave a link also in the description so it's easy for you guys to find me. Check out these videos next to learn more about my kidney transplant journey. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you next time.